Hey guys, Zach from Mueller here and welcome back to our video and today uh, we're doing a video on my CD collection entirely. Uh, I've got about in total 20 something CDs. Uh, I would do this on vinyls but um, I want to wait till I have a, eh, actually I could probably do it on vinyls. I just wanted to do CDs first, get a bit of a longer video out there for once. I mean yesterday's was kind of long but I want this one to be kind of long too. Okay, first CD on our chart, Dosphere, Disease Remnants of a Dying World. This is a black metal album, kind of close to DSBM, honestly. Um, not as raw and powerful, but it is a pretty powerful album. Nice artwork, sorry, I had to swallow something in my throat. Um, nice artwork, it's by Transcending Obscurity Records. On the back you've got the track listings, and then here is the inside. Uh, pictures down in the corner for a better looking um, the just better looking shots of it so that you guys can see it easier. I've been providing those in recent videos and I really like the style. Because when I'm talking about bands, I like for you to see them. Okay, next we've got Car Garngren, one of my favorite black metal bands. Uh, with This Is No Fairy Tale, the second album I bought by them, technically speaking. This one I got first due to the other one being a pre-order. But yes, of course, the artwork. Um, here's what the inside looks like. Once again, pictures down the corner. And then the back. This one came with a little planchette necklace that I don't wear as often as I wish I would. Especially when talking about black metal, I feel like it would fit better. But I have a lot of, I have like three necklaces. So, I mean, I don't wear them a lot, but when I do, I like to. So, yeah, and this is by Season of Mist. And one of my favorite record labels, honestly. And I would definitely recommend this album to anybody who likes symphonic black metal. They don't have a bassist, so if you're expecting a really good black metal bass, don't. There's no bass. And that's not to say the bassist is sitting there and you can't hear it. No, they don't have a bassist. It works, surprisingly. Another one, <clears throat> Karl Gangren, uh, Frankenstrider Strider, Strider Moniker. Um, here's the front with the artwork. This one's actually a textured one. Very nice texture to it, feels neat. Um, here's the inside. The booklet is... Uh, different to this one, I believe? No. The booklet is inside, just like that one is. But yeah, CD, everything. Let me actually flip that up so it fits better. Um, recently I've been downloading all these to my Xbox so I can listen to them. Here's the back. Because uh, I don't have a working CD player currently. I have a little portable one, but I need headphones for it. So, we'll wait on that. Uh, next we've got Cronin, uh, Arhythms. This is a uh, progressive album. Very nice. A little fast at times. Once again, by Season of Mist. This one uh, is on Underground Activist. Sadly, I can't play it for that long because if I do, there's a huge divot in part of the CD and it causes it to skip, uh, which sucks. And I just wish it didn't have that because this is a really good album overall. I've listened to it uh, digitally, of course, and it's, it's a really good album overall. Next, we've got The Maldic. Um, Dread is the album name. Uh, this is another one by Transcending Obscurity. Oh, just Transcending Records. Um, this is a Death Doom, Death Doom band from Australia. Uh, here's the front. Pretty odd artwork, honestly. Here is the inside of the CD. Black CD, nothing to really look at there. And here's the back, once again, some odd artwork, track listings, everything you should see with it. Next we've got Iron Maiden's Fear of the Dark. One of my favorite Iron Maiden albums was one of my favorite iterations of Eddie. Here's the front, very nice cover as always. Iron Maiden has some of the best artwork in the business since ever. Inside with uh, pictures of band and the CD depicting like another kind of iteration of Eddie. But I honestly don't know. Uh, back with the track listings and others with the band, so very neat. Next we've got Ozzy Osbourne's Blizzard of Oz, the first album I ever owned, which is, uh, a lot of people say is a very good choice to pick, and I think so too. Um, so yeah, here's the front, Ozzy Osbourne in like an attic place, skulls behind him holding a cross, you know, typical Ozzy stuff. Here's the inside, uh, black CD that looks like a vinyl. Older Ozzy redoing the pose. On the back, you've got all the track listings. Him on stage when he had frills, looking like some Texas guy. Um, yeah, and then you've got some like 
bonus tracks, You Looking At Me, Looking At You, and then Goodbye to Romance, guitar and vocal mix, and then a uh, track labeled RR, which is a lost Randy Rhodes solo. Very good, very good solo rip Randy Rhodes. Next we've got Texas Hippie Collision, Pride of Texas. Um, here's the front cover showing the Texas flag, I believe. Uh, the inside has, of course, the track listings and the, uh, like, cover. Uh, you got the CD. Other side, you've got the band on this side. Oh wait, there's something about this, too. I didn't know that. That's weird. Okay. Um, but yeah, you've got the Texas Hippie Collision DVD. I've never watched this DVD, actually. I'm gonna watch it one day. And now, I'll, I'll give a review of, like, live DVDs when I watch them. Like, tell you how good it is, and if you should pick it up or not. Uh, so yeah, there's all the inside stuff and outside stuff. Uh, something is going on with the outside here. Hang on a second. Okay, okay. Hang on a second. Oh, uh, we are having some technical difficulties. Okay, okay. Had to... Whew. Okay, now that's all sorted out. Back to normal. Okay, so on the back you've got the track listings and the artwork from the inside on the booklet once again. Next we've got... Zoth's Interdimensional Invocations. Uh, here's the front. Very nice artwork. I personally love Zoth's artwork. I want to get this on a shirt or a patch one day and put it on something. I don't care what. Maybe my coffee pot. <laughs> um, on the inside, you've got the booklet talking about like people and showing the people and you know who Zoth, what comprises of Zoth. Here's the artwork on the CD, which is very similar to the cover. A little more. Um, Maddle, uh, muddled down a bit, like a muddier version of it. Very neat. On the back, you've got the track listings and some like artwork too. Uh, this one actually has a chip in the side of the case, but that's because I got it from the metal head box. And in shipping, you can expect some stuff to get damaged here or there. The worst I've ever had damaged is my uh, Cronin CD, which has a ding in it. So I'm gonna have to rebuy that CD one day. Next, uh, this is one of my like I think my most recent CD pickup, uh, and it's Black Sabbath's Paranoid. On the front you've got some like guy dressed in a outfit, <laughs> it's all weird and nice looking, you know. On the inside you don't have much, you've got pictures of the band, uh, you got the CD in green with the track listings on it, very neat. Um, on the back you've got some of the like, you got the guy again, different pose this time, and you've got track listings. So not much to look at with that one, but you know what, sometimes the music is better than the artwork. Next we've got a power slash speed metal album, which is marked A Grim Apparition. Uh, it's like seven songs long, I believe, because you've got the, you've got four main songs and then you've got some demos. Uh, here's the cover, very nice artwork once again, kind of reminds me of like Zoth. I thought it was like a thrash metal cover maybe, I don't know. Uh, on the inside, Nothing much to look at, but there is still some stuff to look at, you know, some listings, some thank yous, some stuff, and a red CD with Witch's Mark and a Grim Apparition put on it, so not much to the CD. And on the back, you've got a zoom in of the heads on the cover. Very nice, very nice. This is by Heaven and Hell Records. Next, we've got, <clears throat> let's try and pronounce this together, Di Alfium Prophetan Om Dending Och Hechten. I believe how you pronounce it. Uh, I'm not good with foreign stuff at times, but you know, sometimes I am. So let's just do that together. Uh, outside the artwork is hard to see. There's actually the digital artwork is a lot better to see, so I'll probably put that down instead of this because this this sucks. Uh, not sucks, but it's, just, it's harder to see and read and stuff. Uh, inside. Black CD case, black CD with like wood uh, trees on it. You got this CD to it, you got black to that. And then on the back, you've got, you know, D Alfium, all their track listings and like structures. Very neat. Next, we've got Necrobiosis, the pile of decayed entrails. Uh, artwork is okay. Uh, it's a grindcore record uh, from Head Split Records. Very nice. Um, I've actually been looking at getting something by them. I've never listened to this album, so I can't say how it is. But 
here's the cover. I got this in the Metalhead box uh, as of like two months ago. So here's the cover on the front. Here's the inside. Some neat stuff going on with the CD and the cover inside. And here's the back. Uh, very nice. Shows the track listings and whatever that is. <laughs> Let's keep going. Next we got Corn Untouchables uh, with the kids on the cover. Pretty weird artwork, but you know, not the weirdest I've ever seen. Uh, it's a pretty good album, honestly. Inside it's all red, and you got the kids in the cup, the main kids in the cover on the CD. On the back, you've got the kids' faces all blurred together and the track listing. Hard to read. It's corn decided, mm, let's make it all spooky like our front, and let's make it on that. So, four by seven. Sinestro Cemente, hard to see artwork, but I think it's the chest of the singer. And, uh, yeah, she. Uh, it's a she, so, you know. Um, Sinestro Cemente, I got this in, like, the first or, or second Metalhead box I got. Here's the inside, another Season of Mist fan. I believe they're one of the foreign ones, though. I believe it's for, like, UK. But I don't know. Uh, inside, you've got the CD with all the, like, it, it, nothing much, kind of blank. And on the back, once again, track listings, kind of blank. Nothing really special with this CD. We've got uh, Soul Squidum, I believe is how you pronounce it, and Contemplations. Um, I believe this one's Prague. It's another one by Transcending Records. Uh, on the outside, it's like a cityscape, kind of blurred. Very neat kind of look. Inside, not much, very black. And it's got some, like who did vocals, who did what on the track, um, and then on the back, it's just the track listing and stuff like that, all the legal stuff, you know, not much to it, it's kind of blank, um, next we've got Corns, uh, The Nothing, I bought this one, because it was new, and I was like, eh, I'll, I guess I'll pick it up, it's a, it's an alright album, it's not the best Corn album, the best Corn album is like Follow the Leader, Untouchables era, stuff but it's it's a pretty good album nice cover guy made of wires kind of interesting uh, i don't really know what to say about that it's, it's very neat on the inside you've got their cover with the guy with made of wires on it i'll actually quickly put that in the how um yeah you get the guy made of wires you got everything on there kind of blank over here besides the guy made of wires then you got just wires on the back, and it just says corn and nothing on it, so, fun. <laughs> Next we've got The Very Beast of Dio. This is a compilation of 16 of the best Dio songs. One of them is live, and that would be Man on Silver Mountain. Uh, I actually don't know if the last ones are live, though, but you've got, like, s such songs as Stand Up and Shout, Holy Diver, Rainbow in the Dark, Straight Through the Heart, We Rock, The Last in Line, Mystery, King of Rock and Roll. You know, those type of stuff. Uh, on the cover, you've got this, like, beast with a chain around it. Very nice, very cool looking. Uh, on the inside, you've got Dio and the horns. Uh, you've got the Dio stuff up here and the horns down here. For that, this one, I actually didn't have to process for downloading as much. I didn't have to put in info about it. It had everything listed, which I love. I love when stuff does that because it makes my life easier. <laughs> and on the back, it shows, you know, Dio performing for a crowd, some pictures down here that are even hard to see in person, so if you can't see them there, then it's it's not my fault, it's because they are pressed very small, or not pressed, but printed very small. Next we've got Naraxis and Live Progression. Originally when buying, when getting this in the Metalhead box, I thought it was a prog record, honestly, I thought it was like a prog dream theater type thing. No. This is by Galley Records, and it is like slam, brutal death stuff. It is a really awesome album. This one's a live album. They've got something production, and it's a non-version, but on the cover, it shows the band and some, like, cityscapes. Very neat. I actually didn't know what that was when I first looked at it, but uh, it took some time to study it, like I do with all my album covers. Uh, next, you've got the city reversed on the inside, and the cityscape once again down here. Very nice look to it. Uh, so kind of stuff to look at on that one. On the back, you have the cityscape again. Lots of cities. 
I have no idea why it could be the city they performed in. I don't actually know what city it was. But you could probably look into where this record was recorded. Definitely do. Uh, good, good, like, brutal death metal. I don't know if it's brutal death metal. I think it's brutal death metal based on what I hear. Next we've got uh, Slipknot's Iowa. Arguably the best Slipknot album. Some people would say uh, the first one. No, I, I think Iowa is the best. Pro and when people say that they're death metal, this is probably their closest album to being death metal ever. And even then, I still wouldn't try to classify it that way. You've got the cover uh, a bit different than the other versions. You've got like three different versions of this cover. I just haven't had this one. Nothing special about it besides the infrared loop. On the back, you've got, uh, or on the inside, you've got the Slipknot sigil on here with the lyrics to Iowa, and you've got just this white thing. <laughs> I don't know how to classify that. And then on the back, you've got a goat. Another goat. I like goats. Next, we've got uh, Volbeat's Outlaw Gentlemen and Shady Ladies. This is some of their new stuff. Ah, the CD fell out. Here on the front, you got this gent here. Not the gent, not gent, but gentleman. Uh, one of the tracks on here features King Diamond, which is awesome. I love King Diamond. Love King Diamond, love his work in Merciful Fate, too. Um, but yeah, this is just an awesome, pretty good album. Stop falling out. It doesn't seal that well, surprisingly, on this. Uh, once again, it shows the same gentleman from the cover. Here's a shady lady that I'm assuming that this album refers to. And here is the back with some just like crows and some Texas landscapes on it. So, very interesting, you know, the stuff. You know, so. Next, we've got <clears throat> Grotesque Infection, and the album I believe is just called Grotesque Infection. It's a compilation of all their demos, and I believe a live, actually. Uh, Demo, Death Fest, and another, like, uh, like, just, uh, demo. Demo, live demo. Very neat, uh, weird artwork on the inside. Same artwork's on the CD, a little more dark. Uh, you got some news articles from them, some stuff about them, like, who they perform with and stuff. So that's very nice. On the back, you've got the track listing and, uh, everything like that. They're a pretty good band, too. Um, just death metal, I think. Maybe gore grind. Next, the biggest one that I was saying for last, Slayer Repentless. Now, this is just the cover, okay? Cover looks like this. Here's the back to it. Cool. Next, we've got this cover to it, and this back to it, but this folds out like so. Let's take that. That is the booklet that contains all the information. Next, <laughs> It folds out like, uh, this. Very Slayer-like. Uh, there will be a better picture of that posted in the corner, because I want to make sure that it is a, this is the best quality I can be. That goes like that, that goes like that. Uh, this is a triple DVD feature. It doesn't have three different ones. It's two in one. It's got the album. It's got... The live at Walkin' in 2014 and stuff, the making of a print list. Very cool. So anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, please turn the blue, please turn the gray thumb blue with hypothermia, ring the red subscribe button of its juices, turn it gray, ring the death bell, and leave your if in the comments. Um, all the music used is in the description below. Uh, our recommended album for today will, or for today will probably be I don't know, uh, let's go with, uh, I've done some rules. So, The Very Beast of Dio, very good compilation album, got me into more of Dio's stuff. So, anyways, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.